this AI company could potentially replace the iPhone and Android. Known as Humane, they actually recently raised $100 million in funding to build out their amazing product. So what exactly is it? Well, let's take a deep dive into what does Humane do. Their founders are actually ex-Apple, and we have Imran and Bethany. And essentially, they're looking to create the next device that we could potentially all be using in the next few years. So what have they done so far? Well, right now, they have been partnered with Microsoft and also collaborated with OpenAI, aka the famous company behind ChatGPT, and also SK Networks. So now, you're probably wondering, how does this company compete with smartphones, aka Apple, iPhone, Android? Well, let's look at some videos of the actual product. So now let's take a look at some visuals. So here is Imran, and he's actually giving a speech, and this video is posted by Ray Wong on Twitter. And just take a look, little projection screen from his chest and it basically projects onto his hand and it looks like a phone call with Bethany and essentially you can get the picture as of right now from the teasers that we've seen of this product. It can potentially project onto your hand or any sort of surface similar to some futuristic type gadgets you've probably seen in movies years ago or growing up as a kid. Now, this video, there wasn't any audio that I had from here. However, we can look at another video and it's really just showcasing the actual projection part of it. And you can kind of see it's very, very tiny. It's hard to actually see in this particular clip. However, there wasn't exactly too many releases regarding the actual overall design from these snippets that I've seen so far. But another crazy thing that is showcased was the ability to translate English and it says here French. So that right there in that short one minute video essentially just translated what he just said and all he had to do was press a little button on his little pocket, he has on his jacket of this so-called device that they're creating and some key things to focus on that he mentioned in this particular video is he says from at least the resources that I've seen, they seem to have their own AI and their own data that they're doing everything versus just connecting to some ChatGPT style API. But again, I don't have the behind the scenes so can't comment on how that works. However, we also did see how it Essentially, I couldn't tell if it was in his pocket and he pressed something in there. It's very visually from this particular video, hard to see exactly what's going on. But you get the picture, you can talk just like normal. You don't have to put your face into a speaker or get up close to it, have your own conversation, and then it translated to, at least right now, French from English. So just imagine the opportunities this could open up. You go to a foreign country that has this difficult language to learn or even understand. You simply talk, instantly translates for you, boom, that's one feature. Now I've seen products already that are very similar that do exactly this particular solution that this problem is solving. However, this is just one of the features. So if it can do almost all of those additional products out there that have one particular solution to something, then essentially this could replace a full-on smartphone. Now, this particular video is pretty impressive out of all the ones I've seen so far. The language translation, you know, we have Google Translate already. It's just not as, I'd say, miniature and portable like this. However, this particular one, it's essentially an upgraded version to these apps I've seen out there. So what I'll do is actually, let me go ahead and see if I can cut to the exact part that it showcases, but essentially, there is a particular point and see this guy, he, here we go. So essentially he has some sort of food out and basically look at this. So you can see that from that just short thing it looked like it did a scan of whatever that was. I'm not sure that was a chocolate bar, candy bar or something. And basically, based off of his information that it knows from either he inputted it or I guess I'm not 100% sure how they inputted the data, but basically it told him you cannot eat that. So just imagine the 
levels that this could go to when someone who has highly allergic or again for food for specific examples if it can scan you go to a restaurant and it can determine hey this has peanuts for example something that's common that a lot of people are allergic to or it has i don't know shellfish or red meats whatever it is and it can actually understand it then that's when it becomes game changing now for this i couldn't see exactly the angle he took the scan but if it's basically reading the ingredient list then that makes sense that seems to be a very simple way to figure that out but just imagine if you see like movies for example you just show a picture of food well let's say for real life you have a bowl of food in front of you it scans it it can see exactly what is inside and then knows what it's made out of then that is when it becomes insane now that seems more complex and obviously there's certain things you can mix into food that's hard to tell like a hamburger you could put stuff in the actual meat when you cook so you wouldn't even notice however i'm sure there's ways they could update this to where it has uh you put it into something and then i can test that but again this is just basic starting level based stuff for this uh, product but now let's look at more information about humane so here is showcasing one of the co-founders the guy you saw in those videos and check this out 20 years at apple now he's starting this thing called humane and you can see his resume iphone ipad mac apple watch apple tv you name it and you can even see here this is from a picture in 2017 original iphone design team and you can see looks like he is in this photo as well so from the general background of imran it seems like he is very knowledgeable in one the smartphone space specifically apple iphone and two he probably has a lot of connections in the actual tech space so when it comes to creating an ai product that is an upgraded version to a smartphone that is going to be very very game changing if they can pull this off and get the user adoption now here's from the verge and they did a little summary on some of the things they talk about in humane and this is the one part i thought was really interesting is that it's essentially owned by itself it doesn't need a smartphone or any other device to pair with it so typically if you use any sort of current technology laptop smartphone computer if you want to get something then you usually have to connect to something and then next thing you know it they're all interconnected in some way we're dependent they're relying on everything versus this it's simply from what we saw in the videos a little tiny projection thing in his pocket that it could do what all the stuff that currently showed so far so i don't know exactly the additional things it can do but for now let's just predict something similar to smartphones such as calling texting and any of those typical voice related actions so here they said they want you to experience screenless seamless and sensing essentially allowing you to access the power of commutes while remaining present in your surroundings so just imagine you have this little device on your t-shirt whatever it is and next thing you know it you say hey call bethany boom and then you say call bethany from france for example and you talk in english and it translates to her in french and they could ask it, what can Bethany not eat versus where should we go out to eat for dinner? Give you suggestions like that. And just these are just, again, based off of the current examples. But I could see this extrapolated to stuff that's even more complex, such as, hey, buy me tickets to the Bahamas. Buy me my hotel for seven days. Plan an entire itinerary where we have seven days of everything that is amazing to do in the Bahamas. And then... Who knows what else you could think of? Buy groceries for me. Summarize my meeting emails. Find someone to hire for our new house that we're building. You name it, just think of it like Siri or these voice activated products, but much better, I would say. It seems like that. So far again, there's still not enough showcasing of visuals of the actual product, but so far from the teasers, it looks like it's one of those futuristic products that could literally disrupt the entire space and next thing you know it smartphones are going to be obsolete but only time will tell so if you want to see the latest updates in the ai space hit that like button and subscribe